Apparently, Catholicism is on the wane in Canada. Not only are fewer people identifying it as their religion, but even those who do admit they're lapsed. Judging by the Good Friday overflow at St. Michael's Cathedral here in Toronto this past Easter, you'd never know it. I arrived too late for a coveted seat, so stood among at least 100 people gathered outside, straining to hear the year's holiest mass. The large crowd was reverently silent, and for a moment, even the traffic noises seemed to accommodate the hymns and sanctus bells. I left before communion because although I often attend mass, I rarely go to confession. So I never feel fully qualified to accept the holy sacrament. That's good old Catholic guilt at work. Or maybe I just don't feel comfortable confessing my sins to a man behind a screen. The last time religious affiliations were measured, there were 13 million Catholics in Canada. I am indeed one of them, or am I? Like many of my brethren, I'm a cafeteria Catholic. I pick and choose between what I like about the religion and what I can live without. I'll take the comfort of the most traditional mass and all its consecrations. I'll leave the Vatican stance on birth control, abortion, its secondary position of women, and the shameful sex abuse scandals. I did spend many youthful years being a good Catholic. My mother, a devout woman, tolerated my childhood fidgeting in the pew during mass by handing me her rosary to play with. I attended Catholic schools from kindergarten through high school, which of course included regular theology classes and trips to mass more than on requisite Sundays. I made my first communion and confirmation, signifying Christian maturity. I joined the church choir and the youth club as much to meet the cute boys from, from the congregation as anything else. But I broke my mother's heart when in my late teens I turned away from the church. Nothing that it stood for suited my blossoming principles. How could I listen to a homily which included a call to action on pro-life? How would I remain virtuous when every bit of fun was off limits to a good Catholic? Still, it took my first university women's studies class before I officially swore off my patriarchal childhood religion. My mother's fervent wish was to get me back to mass until one day I blurted out, look, mom, I'm not even sure I believe in God. We didn't broach the subject again, but I think she secretly believed I'd make my way back. And I did. Years later, after my mom's death and completely out of practice with the mechanics of the mass, I began going to church. It was the only place I could feel close to her. The continuity of the Mass soothed me. The poetry of the prayers, the litany of the saints, the repetition of the rosary, the gorgeous stained glass, and the familiar story that unfolds in the Stations of the Cross. Pundits and theologians discuss how a withering Catholicism needs to repair, change, and progress, but I no longer mix faith with politics, and I'm comfortable with my personalized religious practice. I can be critical of my church without sacrificing my faith. As a pragmatic and inquisitive kid, I found it hard to believe in miracles and holy apparitions. Now I think the only thing certain about my faith is its mystery. For The Agenda with Steve Paikin, I'm Carla Lucetta.